I'm Mike Entrianakis, and this is Hunter, Hunter's Point Park, one of my favorite places in Queens. Um, I'm here today on this gorgeous Sunday morning uh, just to feel free to talk about whatever is on my mind. And there is something that's on my mind, that today is April 7th, 2019. And what that means is tomorrow is April 8th, 2019 exactly five years out from the total solar eclipse, the very next one that's going to happen here in the United States of America. Now, I had planned last week to go across America, driving from uh, New York to Ohio, and then Ohio as far down as San Antonio, and then make my way back and do the same. Then I thought about flying back and doing a one-way with the car. But the forecast was dismal, and if I can, I'm going to put in uh, some shots of uh, the satellite from these previous days and almost the entire path within the United States of America is covered in clouds. So that makes it a little scary for any of us who are going to be mobile or situated or planning in the U.S. Mexico was clear, but then Mexico also got clouds and Canada had some clearing. Nova Scotia was clear, but it's also getting clouds. Now the key though is really tonight. Tonight is where we assess the forecast. We go through uh, all the various meteorolo meteorological forecast centers, satellites, and go within the 24-hour prediction. So if I'm here in New York, as so many millions of people are, uh, the night before you can assess the weather, and depending on how far you're willing to drive, you could go to upstate New York, you can make it to Buffalo, you can make it to Cleveland, you could even, if you're willing to drive 18 hours, make it to Carbondale, Illinois, as I had done uh, two, year, uh, two years ago when I, when I drove out there, or go all the way up to Maine. So these are all within an overnight drive without much sleep, or very early because it's in the afternoon. It's after 12 o'clock until 3 o'clock, especially up here in the Northeast. So it's, this is something that I'm going to do, do later. And uh, perhaps I'll also do a video about that. But this is on my mind, you know, these, this gorgeous weather that we've been having here in New York. It's, uh, it's about, eh, it must be 60 degrees now, and it's going to go up to like 65. And uh, it's deceiving because uh, it's it, out there, you know, we don't get the weather here. And t whatever they get out there in Cleveland, we get it a day later. So it is cloudy, and tomorrow is predicted to be rain here in New York. And again, New York is only going to have a partial eclipse. The closest you can go is Syracuse. So let's say tonight there's a chance in Syracuse that there's some clear skies. I very well may make that attempt, take that drive uh, straight up there within four hours and be in the path of totality in uh, five years' time. If that's my, the case and, and what I'm going to do, I really do want to see the eclipse in the United States of America. Most people, most, uh, let's say, uh, professionals or pro-ams are going to go to Mexico. Scientists will go to Mexico because overall their climate is, is quite uh, uh, optimal uh, for this time of year. Best uh, than uh, the rest of the United States. San Antonio, Eagle Pass, along that border, it gets very tight there, but uh, it's also a place where you could go. But like I said, it could be pockmarked and it could be holes, and, and if you can uh, pick your way into one of those lucky holes sometimes, uh, New York is going to have an eclipse. We have not had an eclipse here. It'll be uh, since uh, two, 1925. 1925, it'll be 99 years since the last total solar eclipse occurred in New York State. So uh, this is something uh, that's on my mind today as I relax out here in this gorgeous uh, park that is a favorite amongst New Yorkers, especially Queens residents, and was supposed to be the home for headquarters of Amazon too. But uh, that fell through, and part of me is a little glad about that. Didn't want them just coming in here and, uh, and taking advantage of our beautiful village uh, and, and buying their way through without... Uh, uh, contributing taxes, but I really shouldn't talk about it because it's not my fort, and I, uh, I, I don't want to pretend I know everything. But if you want to come to New York, just move here. Moving the whole corporation as far as uh, just business executives, fine, but tax breaks and doing it underhandedly without revealing it to people, that's a whole other ball game that shouldn't have been done. So um, 
just as a local resident, you know, don't need any deals. You want to come, come on here and help the community because uh, uh, people need uh, work. And, uh, and we're talking about middle class and uh, under middle class people here. We, we, we do need jobs. Um, nevertheless, I, I don't want to end on that subject. It's only because it's right here, uh, exactly where I am, is where it all would have happened. But uh, as behind you, you can see uh, the Freedom Tower. Uh, Oh man, and I'm not going to get into the story today, but uh, 17 years ago, 9/11 uh, was a, was a big story for me, being the director of news operations at WCBS TV. So one day I'm going to tell that story, and uh, that, that 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 that's emotional and and something that uh, I really was an intricate part of because. All the antenna were on top of the World Trade Center, and being destroyed, all the stations went off the air, except for WCBS-TV, which had two antennas, one on the World Trade Center and the other one on the Empire State Building. So we still were able to broadcast over the air, and with people, problems and such, or not having cable, they had their little remote control, battery, televisions, and such like that, and they were able to watch uh, WCBS-TV cover 9-11. Uh, uh, for two weeks straight, commercial free, before we threw our first commercial. And uh, I don't think I slept at all during those two weeks. And uh, I have some pretty eerie stories about driving across the Queensboro Bridge all to myself when it was closed to all people. But I had permission to go in as uh, being part of the press. But that, I'm going to save that story for another day. Today's a gorgeous day, and I just want to relax and contemplate about uh, tomorrow.